the uh, damage that the fire was dealing, the fiery goo or whatever they referred to it as, they disabled that damage, but now because of thermobaric spam, they've completely disabled this and I imagine that in a future update they're going to rework how the thermobaric does damage and how strong it is and then they'll re-add it into the game. So currently if you have this selected on any of your class setups, it's just going to default to a frag grenade instead. So since December, they kind of relatively left it untouched, which makes it pretty good because if you nerf a bunch of stuff and this gun's already good, it just ends up being better comparatively. So that's kind of what we have here. Uh, this kind of build for this one. A lot of people popularize this one. XM4 from Cold War, or now the meta case in the so It really comes down to preference. So you can go that fast because it gets a little cracked. Uh, but the FFAR meta, that was a meta for a reason uh, back in the day because you were able to straight so insanely fast. So either one is great, it just depends on your preference. Peace out, support, thank you for watching Zoe. Have a great day. Honestly, they all do a good job. They all have different sound profiles. I do like the fact that with the tunnel leak, it's a quick capture button to change your sound profile right there in the ear. You can do that with the base station on uh, the steel suit, and also you do have that also on the Apple 50. So you do have that ability here. But the other profiles are really good because you can hear this footsteps well. You can also get the uh, you know, actual sound in there, people are coming from, the branches are coming from. Those kind of things are helping. Game you can 